My name is Sebastian Stark, I'm a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh and AI scientist at EA, and I'm very happy to present you my research story on character animation. Creating character movements for AAA games is challenging and achieving production-ready quality is not straightforward. Managing time and resources to create high-quality animations and finally also being able to ship all the content with the game is often a compromise, leaving us with a state-of-the-art in character animation that unfortunately has not progressed as fast. So the question was, can AI help us to at once the state of the art in character animation? And we all have seen a great example for biped locomotion in 2017. Continuing that path, we looked into animating quadrupeds and in 2018 we showed how a mixture of experts framework can be used to learn the more complex and multimodal nature of quadruped locomotion. By training from unstructured motion capture data, we got a smooth, responsive and high-quality motion controller where the key idea was to learn a dynamic interpolation of weights inside the network, in this case using the foot velocities of the character. After that we found that when using faces as input to the same architecture, the system would then learn a separate face function for each motion skill, and with that we were able to move beyond locomotion for humans. We additionally included information about the environment and object geometry, and in 2019 we were able to learn a number of complex character scene interactions such as sitting on chairs, avoiding obstacles, opening doors, carrying objects, to adjust the pose to different shape and size, and also responding well to unseen scenarios. However, a remaining key limitation was that defining global phases can be tough or sometimes strictly not possible. So this year at SIGGRAPH 2020, we are introducing the concept of local motion phases and to instead align character movements at bone level in an asynchronous manner. And suddenly, we can extract a phase space from complex and unstructured motion data without any manual labeling. Now this enabled us to learn various dynamic, fast-paced and quickly changing movements including ball dribbling, professional ball maneuvers, as well as stealing, shooting and catching from a single model. But the best thing was that this concept and architecture also worked for all previous examples. And with that, the story was complete. Because now we were able to learn a large variety of significantly different and complex animations in high quality under a unified framework. Coming back, now why is this research a game changer for industry? Usually a lot of data cleanup and careful storage is required to play back the animations. But with AI, we can directly learn the motion from the data to generate the animations on the fly. That avoids a lot of tedious work, achieves a significant data compression and returns realistic character controllers ready to use. And finally, also in animation, it is all about flattening the curves to stay within budget while bringing more content into the games. Thank you.